This amazingly fun new game mode will boost the SLP economy by providing a burn mechanic that many will use. Are you ready for the Nasha Battlegrounds? What it takes. Now, I know many of us are enjoying the new Axie Origins on its soft launch, but for me, the real revelation has actually been the launch of Moon Shards, Runes and Charms. There will actually be a secondary market where you can sell your runes and charms to other players, but remember the star of the show is the Moon Shards, which will be required to craft these runes and charms. Now, why is this important? Because I'm predicting that the grinding for Moon Shards can become a very boring and laborious task for rune traders. So, what if there was a fun way in which you can now start earning moon shards, runes, charms, AXS, skins, and maybe even future crafting materials from land gameplay. In this awesome new game mode, you will be paying SLP for a ticket to enter the battleground, and you can win awesome prizes that just keep on getting better. The more you win, you basically start the battleground by picking three base axes. You'll be given an option out of three each time. So for example, you'll pick an aqua, a plant, and then another aqua. Now that is your base team. But the really crazy cool thing is that now you can start building up your Axie's abilities from scratch. For each Axie and each body part of that Axie, you'll be represented with a choice out of three body parts that you can pick. One of which will always come from the class that is the base Axie, like Aqua for example. So the cool thing is you can create Axies that have never been created before and imagine having an Aqua with triple nut, right? After you've created your three base Axies with all their abilities, you will head on over to battle your first opponent who will be matched to have the same level as you have. The game will work the same as the current arena game but what is cool about this mode is that it will have a roguelite effect where after each battle you can upgrade and transform your axes. As an example after the first battle you can actually pick a rune for each one of your axes. Now the crazy cool thing here is that you won't be limited to neutral runes and the class runes. As an example you can take the mega rune zap armor on your plant. Here is a breakdown of how the upgrading will work. After match one, you get to pick a rune. After match two, you pick an ability on each of your axes that you want replaced. You yet again are represented with three different options. After match three, you get to replace runes. After match four, you can add three charms per axe, yet again chosen from three different options. After match five, you can add three more charms per axe. And after match six, you can add another rune rune on top of the rune that is already there. There would be crazy combos and possibilities by having two different runes on a single axe. And after match seven, you can yet again replace a rune. The max amount of times you can win for the best possible prize is seven. And this is what the prizes look like. If you win all seven games, you will get 10,000 moon shards, a mystic rune and a mystic charm, a skin, 250 milli AXS and in the future other crafting material. Now that seems very worth it for only 100 SLP, right? Well if you win less than 7, these are the prizes that you can expect. For 0 wins, 1000 moon shots and a common rune or charm. So you have to pick between the rune or the charm. After one win, you get 1,500 moon shards and a common rune or charm. So just a little bit more moon shards. After two wins, you get 2,000 moon shards and both a common rune and a common charm. After three wins, you will get 2,500 moon shards, a rare rune or a rare charm. After four wins, 4,000 moon shards, a rare rune and a rare charm. And after five wins, 6,000 moon shards, a epic rune and an epic charm and after six wins you can expect 8,000 moon shots with a mystic rune and a mystic charm. You might be asking how is it possible to get zero wins? How the game works is after you've lost twice you will have to end your run in the battleground but don't worry even after your first loss, you'll be able to upgrade your axes and will be facing an opponent who is also on zero wins. So you should have a slight edge and have a good chance to always at least win one of your games. So to summarize, I'm hoping this new game mode will do the following. The entry fee will provide
provide a burn mechanic for SLP, an awesome new game mode for players to try out crazy new things and have a cool different way to get your runes, charms, skins and more. If you look at games like Legends of Runeterra and Hearthstone, they all have a similar game mode that already exists and many players play those. Just a disclaimer, Lunasha Battlegrounds is something that I am suggesting as a new feature to Sky Mavis as part of the Axie Education campaign and is not on the roadmap as of yet but I'm hoping it will be. Now there are many other improvements that Sky Mavis can do to make the game even cooler, like adding specialized skins that you only get by reaching seven wins in this battleground or special runes and charms. They can even tweak the axes that are used for battlegrounds to work with 10 abilities instead of six. How crazy would that be? All in all, I think this will be an awesome game mode. Let me know what you think and thank you very much for watching.